What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do a Y fillet in this area on this Lamborghini that I've been working on. This is kind of a tricky area and I wanted to show how I go about it. Hopefully you guys like it. It's the Y fillet going from the roof line to the back of the car. And if you notice one of the key parts to this is making sure you have all your theoreticals right. So the way I'm going to start it is by making fillets on fillets or blends on both of the theoretical lines and trying to meet uh, and try to find a point where the, both of the curves on surface meet or the fillets meet. And this is just a disclaimer. I'm not saying this is class A perfect surfacing the way I'm doing it. This is more just to get the idea across. So it's going to be quick and dirty. And this isn't time lapsed. This is me just going at normal speed. And I want to show that because when you guys set up a good workflow, whether it be with the marking menu or hotkeys, you can get really fast in Alias because I hear a lot of times people talking about how Alias is really slow but in my opinion it's really fast if you know how to use it right so here you notice I, I found the middle point where both of the fillets meet and here I'm establishing a boundary so I made a curve on surface there so I could make the make the bl the surfaces that are gonna go into the Y fillet. So here I'm just trimming out the surface that I have there to a theoretical. Make up another blend curve to make the square or the by rail, whichever one you like. And again, this isn't to show super class A perfect curvature combs. It's more just to get the idea across on how to do this kind of work when you come into this scenario. So those are the two fillets that I had. So I want to make them manually, which really I didn't even need to delete them, but I did. So I grab this curve here because I want the two fillets to be at the same. I want the two lines to be talking to each other from the back to where the fillet is. So I'm trying to establish establish some lines where the fillets meet. So when I make the surfaces, it, I have an easier time to get a clean result. So here I'm doing a freeform blend. I'll just ex I'll just extend it a little bit so I can trim it with the curve that I created because I want to trim convert the surface. And I could just build to that edge that I trimmed, but in alias it's harder to get curvature or to align to a surface that's trimmed versus a surface that has that whether versus building to the actual edge of a surface. So that's why I trimmed it where I thought it needed to be and trim converted it. So again, do a freeform blend. Normally I will take m my time with this, but again, I was just trying to do it quick and dirty just to show the example of how I do it. So trim convert it. 
check continuity between the surfaces. So I, I wasn't positional there, so I'm aligning. I'll do only tangent right now. So I get the main primary surface that I built the fillets to. I'll project the curve that I've been using to make my blend or trim my blends to that main primary surface and I'll make a freeform blend from that primary surface to the blend curve that I had that is connecting the back surfaces. Positional on the curve obviously and then curvature to the surface. So now that I have that I set up a curve in the middle of that patch so when I make my other surfaces I have some kind of balance. I was checking to see how it would be when I make my curve curvature to the fillets but I wasn't getting a good result. So instead I extend the curve here. So instead I extend the curve here project to the main primary slab and then align my curve to the curve on surface once I get that I'm going to project my curve to that surface I made with the freeform blend the one I created to the main primary slab I'm going to make a square and I want it to be curvature to that slab that I made in the middle. I want that to be curvature to it because I know that works with the main primary surface. So instead of having a curve there and building two squares to that curve and then somehow trying to make them curvature to each other, I'm going to make a curvature to this slab and when I do that they should all be they should all work out. So here I'm doing another square, again doing it to that curve on surface that I projected to that surface, and it worked. So now when I check continuity between those surfaces, it should be good. So I'll run the fillet across just to finish off the model, at least in this area. Delete my templates and let's take a look at it and see how it came out. Patch layout looks pretty good see how the highlights look looks pretty good nothing weird really happening in there sky shader so yeah this is the video guys so drop a like subscribe to the channel I'll be making more videos and I'll see you next time